Welcome listeners to another podcast episode. This week, we're going to be discussing a piece called Monarch Butterflies and God. The existence of God has always been a major theme since the ancient times and has intrigued the minds of great thinkers, philosophers, and theologians, as well as ordinary people. Accelerating with the Enlightenment period and rationalism ideology, the idea that God cannot be proved by scientific methods hence the conclusion that there is no God, has prevailed some parts of the world, mainly the Western world and some Asian countries, and even a considerable number of scientists. On the other hand, there are hundreds of millions of people from different faith traditions who still keep their faith in God and never see a conflict between their faith and science. Islam is one of those faith traditions which promotes the existence of God as a sole creator, the grand designer of the universe, and the sustainer of all creation. There are millions of signs, evidence, and proofs for God's existence for those who look into the universe around them with an unbiased perspective. In this podcast, I'll try to illustrate just one example for the existence of God. The flawless design in the universe, which mesmerizes scientists, is one of the major proofs of God's existence. Such a design, with no place for imperfection, and any defect really shows us that there is an intelligent grand design behind every creation. Otherwise, these magnificent events cannot be attributed to coincidences or a deaf and blind nature. The migration of birds is a wonder, which is not an exception to the grand design in nature. An example of animal migration involving long-distance flight is the migration of monarch butterflies. The, mo- the migration of monarch butterflies from Canada and USA to central Mexico is a journey that defies any possibility of coincidence. Millions of tiny creatures set out their 3,000 mile journey and complete it with such success that anybody who looks into this miraculous event will admit that there is a supreme power who designs, leads, and makes this journey real. A couple of highlights from an article published in National Geographic will easily illustrate my point. One. As the days get shorter and the weather cooler, they know it's time to abandon their breeding grounds in the northern U.S. and Canada and head south to the mountains of central Mexico. How do these tiny butterflies know that they need to migrate? And how do they determine the exact time for that? Just by coincidence or by quote-unquote nature? Does Mother Nature whisper to their ears? 2. Some migrate up to 3,000 miles. What an unbelievable distance for these small creatures. How do they maintain their energy? Quote three. There, in Mexico, they huddle together on oil mill fir trees to wait out the winter. Once the days start growing longer again, they begin to move back north, stopping somewhere along the route to lay eggs. Then the new generation continues farther north and stops to lay eggs. The process may repeat over four or five generations before the monarchs have reached Canada again. What a wonderfully planned journey that spans over generations and requires precise planning and logistics. Only the all-knowing and all-hearing God can manage such a wonderful event. Quotation 4. They use the sun to stay on course, but they also have a magnetic compass to help them navigate on cloudy days. A special gene for highly efficient muscles gives them an advantage for long-distance flight. They are wonderful navigators. Who has installed the magnetic compass in them and given them the ability to use the sun to navigate their course of migration? Who has created them with a special gene geared for long-distance flight? Many species of birds have a similar story with breathtaking examples of the existence of our Creator. Similar posts will follow and we will embark on a journey in the nature to find the traces of our maker. Thank you listeners for listening to this week's podcast episode. Please join me for further episodes.